I first returned to Ultima Online, I needed to find a way to make income on the game. It was suggested to me that I make a Sampire, which is a character that uses Vampiric Embrace to leech life back from their enemies. This type of character is amazing for doing champion spawns and a lot of end-game PVM content. For my build, I recommend the following skills. Bushido at 120, Chivalry at 80, Necromancy at GM, Parry at 60, Resisting Spells at 120, Swords at 120, and Tactics at 120. It's also not a bad idea to have Anatomy at 120 on a Soul Stone so you can switch out with Resist as you need. A more advanced build could use plus Skill Jewels to get the Anatomy on the build with dropping Chivalry. When it comes to building your Sampire suit, it can vary in cost from as low as under 100 mil to easily costing a few plat. I would start off with the basics, which is having a double axe and a bladed staff with the following slayers. Demon, Repawn, Undead, Arachnid, and Reptile. As far as stamina, it needs to be over 180 with 20 swing speed increase to be able to swing as quickly as possible. You need plus 25 hit point increase on the suit, 45% hit chance increase, 20% or above on defense at chance increase, 100% on damage increase, and as much LMC as you can get on the suit. Any LRC that you can get on the suit is definitely a plus, but not a need. When it comes to damage increase, you're allowed to have 100% on the suit, 100% is given on the Slayer, and if you double up the Slayer using a Talisman like a Cameo or a Conjurer's Trinket, you can get another 100% that way. So that ends up being 300% in damage increase that you can do to monsters. It's also very important that Bushido, you have counter attack up at all times. When you're surrounded, this could give you an extra opportunity to hit all the mobs around you with a Whirlwind. Every champion spawn has its different quirks that you'll have to learn by playing. You should also note, like, Scimitar, you have to be a female in order to hit the boss, or she's going to kill you pretty instantly. Richtor, he makes a sound effect that sounds like a uh, an earthquake, and if he hits you with that, it can do quite a bit of damage in one hit. When it comes down to doing a champion spawn, you should be using the three following skills. Whirlwind, Momentum Strike, and Double Attack. When there's only one mob, I find myself using Double Attack. When there's two mobs, I use Momentum Strike. Kind of conserves on mana. And if there's three or more, that's when I'm really starting to use those Whirlwinds. The further you are in on the champion spawn, the less mobs you have to kill as well. Using honor on the, the final boss is extremely important. The extra damage is extreme. There's only one of the champion spawns that I actually use enemy a one on, and that would be Nira, the undead spawn. It, she doesn't have a slayer, so you doing max damage to her is actually kind of hard. The 50% that you get from enemy of one really helps. It is also worth mentioning that confidence is a great way to heal, and using evasion is really important as well.
Richter's about to meet his end. So with that, I'm going to wrap up the rest of this. And I hope you guys learned a few things. Or if you need any help, be sure to just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer you. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.